Joburg Open kick-started my, my career last year. I think it got me on a really positive note going out to European Tour. And now the fact that uh, the Joburg Ladies Open is co-sanctioned with the Ladies European Tour is massive. So I'm very excited for the week. I think it's a great step forward for the Sunshine Tour and the Ladies European Tour. A few years ago we were speaking about how it would be nice to even have one co-sanctioned event. So having two back-to-back -back has brought out a lot of the, the international players, which is exactly what we want. And hopefully we can have more in the future. It's incredible, like, I mean, it's such a great that the sponsors came together and, like, we are able actually to have two events in South Africa. I mean, the place is really special and you can see around, like, especially here, the golf course is really nice and I'm very grateful to be back. I love Modifontine. We've also played a lot of IGTs and small, small tours around here. I only live 15 minutes away, so it's right in the backyard, so very excited, love the course. I think you've got to hit a lot of greens. The greens are very small, so if you are on the green, you're not very far from the hole as it is. So I think that's important, and there's also some tricky tee shots. You've got to plot your way around the golf course. It's not driver everywhere. You'd rather come in with a longer club into the greens. The greens are sitting because it's obviously been raining a lot. So, you know, just good position of the tee box, even if it's a longer club into the green, and hopefully you can score. surprisingly I wasn't hitting the ball too great on the front nine um, but I just kept it in play and um, took every shot as it came and came as a surprise to me if I must say um, and then the back nine the wind picked up and I just because I've played so much golf here I know the back nine and it, it, it is really a different nine and it's a different part of the golf course it was a little bit messy, uh, up and down, a few buggies. I wasn't so accurate off the tee, so it made it a bit difficult today, but I'm happy with the end result, um, considering that I wasn't striking it 100%, but there were a lot of positives to build on for tomorrow. I had more chances on the back nine, that I made the putts for them. In the front nine, I played well, but didn't really didn't make that many putts, or didn't leave the ball as close. So I was happy on the back nine. Got off to a really good start this morning, um, played the front line very well, so really happy with how I played that. But um, yeah, just need to take a, take a few more opportunities on the back nine, um, start struggling a little bit, but that's okay, you know, held it together. Just knew this morning when I went out, there was like no wind, the weather was really nice. Um, just thought that I had a lot of birdies in me, and then I started off a little, yeah, stumbling a little bit, uh, especially with that double bogey. So coming off, hitting a great shot into number five, um, and just had a tap in eagle, which was really nice. It kind of felt like I was getting back to level, and just got it from there, kind of. Play very solid, but I struggled a little bit too much on the greens today. But at least I finished with good feeling in the last three holes, made birdie on the eighth, it was my 17 and made a couple good putts coming in. So I had good feeling coming in. Yeah, I feel like they're with the two events in Sweden last year, I kind of got a, a little you know, used to the LET a bit. So coming here this week wasn't a huge opening. But still, it feels nice. I mean, it's always nice with the wind. It feels amazing. Still feel like there's some scary holes out here, uh, especially coming in on these nine, the back nine. Um, you kind of have to keep your shots together a little bit. And also, there's a couple holes on the front nine as well. So I just tried to get my way through them without making anything stupid, really. <laughs> We stood on the fairway and we said just keep it through right and be pin high, just right of it. And then right before I kind of went into the shot, I kind of changed it a little bit and then I kind of went for it. And it's a great opportunity to kind of get into the LET. I know a lot of the girls have goals to play on the LET, which is great goals. And I think a lot of them are able to, to do that. So I think the Sunshine Ladies are doing a great job to kind of push their players to become better and also get, like the mayor said, to get more people to come and play.